All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about a top bag that I am very excited about, and that is some big swim bait fishing. So today, walk you through some of my baits and talk about them, and it should be a pretty exciting episode, so stay tuned. Alright, so before we get into the baits, I'm going to quickly show you my swim bait setup that I've been throwing some of these baits on. Um, most of you are pretty sure you're familiar with the rod, I already uploaded this video. This is the F5 Customs Blacklist swim bait rod, and just a little bit follow up from that last video, because the last video was just an unboxing. Um, this thing is sick. I love this thing so much uh it's a, it's a killer rod it is truly a do everything rod for baits up to that i would say three and a half ounce range you, can, you could get you could definitely go to a four ounce base i would say from anything from one and a half ounces to four ounces this rod is just absolutely killer with it will definitely do all of your treble hook bait applications along with setting jig hooks jig, setting jig hooks and i'm throwing all the baits on it with ease the only one that is definitely a little bit definitely too light is, is the mag drafts and that I definitely would step up to so just like like I said on mag, mag draft review you don't need a swim bait rod like this but all my other baits this rod and throwing it great reel I'm gonna upgrade the reel to oh you'll see and not it, it'll probably be a little while before I step, get get a new reel for this but for now rocking a Shimano crowd okay 20 pound mono talk to a lot of guys so that's just a great all-around thing uh, especially for the summertime and I'm not really creeping huds in the bottom but for glide baits, wake baits, awesome. So, swim bait rod, that's it. Let's go to the beach. So I remember one of my first videos this year, I think it was my first video, I was saying how, um, I want, this year I really wanted to make it a point to get into more into big swim fishing, and I am by no means an expert or committed to it, but I have definitely been putting in some time, and in my opinion, getting some fairly decent results, and definitely gaining some confidence in the bigger swim baits. So today, I thought I'd, just walk you through some of my baits that I've picked up recently. And also, I wa do want to apologize. I know I've been slacking on like my GoPro style um, fishing videos. Uh, I have an entire New Hampshire series with some friends that I filmed that, like about a month ago, but I have not dumped all that footage and put it onto the um, computer to edit it. So that should be coming out soon. So let's get right into these baits. All right, so let's start up on this top level. As I know, I talked about these in my last video, but not giant baits, but have all my mag drafts. I'm definitely looking into probably getting some of the 8 inch mag drafts. So I remember how, yeah, you can see, not too kink, but I was telling you how to package these. I have two of them in the original packaging. So that's definitely how you want to keep them. So I have the brownie color, nude rainbow, MB gizzard, and the perch color. Great starter baits. Great for getting into it and gaining confidence. It was a definitely great for me so now I'm moving up into some of these bigger baits so those are mag drafts next apartment right here I have my HUDs again once I get an, uh, my stack and swim bait combo for some bigger baits I'm probably going to pick up some of the 8 inch but for now I have oops, two of the 60 special HUDs one is in the perch color and that is a rate of fall 12 and this one right here is a rainbow trout and an ROF 5 but um, sometimes I was watching the working class of your video, and if you have an R of five or a lighter Huddleston or any soft bait, and you want it to get deeper, put some nail weights right up there under those gill plates. So now this thing is turned into a little bit of a faster thing. I can add them and take them out. All right, and we're back. Of course, as you just saw, my phone fell from my little stand. And, um, it's taped to a little planter up there, so I can hold it facing down. So. I was saying, HUDs, now it's modified to sink a little bit faster and more like, not an RF-12, but getting a, just getting it to fat, sink a little faster so I, can, so I can fish deeper or if I want to fish a little bit faster, I can do that. So, okay, one thing I wanted to talk about with Huddlestons. Uh, this is one modification that I have not seen really anybody talk about, but <laughs> I really wish I thought of this earlier. If you see my HUD, like my Rainbow Trout one, you can't really tell the bottom because it's already white. But the sides, see how it gets all that kind of like pain starts coming off and it gets like, that. You, you see, like that, oops, I keep on dropping things, but 
that and then my perch one hasn't happened to the sides but the bottom see how there's some like spots where the paint is off on the bottom right there yeah so that I think it's just it just happens I I'm not really going to complain about it just because these are great baits, but they do get some of the paint kind of comes off, but I found a fix to that. Um, like, first of all, this HUD, I fixed it before I got any kind of, like, this brush-on fishing glue at, like, Bass Pro or Mend It is, like, the best one, but I, you, I just use super glue for this. When you, if you start to get those, like, little peeling things, put some of this stuff, this is, like, brush-on, so you take it out and it's like a little brush with its glue on it and I would just rub that right where it's starting to fall off and it just stays there and it won't spread to anything more like this HUD I waited a little bit too long but I brushed it on and it hasn't flaked off into anything else so that HUDs so um, that for me has really alleviated a lot of the pe like this, um, paint peeling off the HUDs like that happened to all my lot of others so um that's it. I saw all my high weedless soft baits inside, which I'll get in a second. But that's all the, those, so I'll move on to the hard baits. And in this um, little container, or in this section right here, I store all my little dividers for this, and that's also where I store this. But let's try to get the bait out of here. This is one of my favorite baits I've had the most success on. Uh, the Jackal Ganserel. The Jackal Ganserel has been out with for a few years. It's a... It's a hard bait. It's a, it's not a glide bait, but it's also not a multi-joint bait. It's by Jackal. It's a Japanese company. It's a fairly reasonably priced bait. It's still fairly... In the swim bait game, it's, for this, um, in my opinion, nice as a bait. It's not insanely overpriced. It's $40, which I think is a good value for this. And with about two and, two and a half ounces, so you definitely want to step up into a dedicated rod for this. The, our, I mean, for a while, I threw it on, like, a flipping stick. It wasn't ideal, but you can do it like a frog rod. But Jackal Ganserol has a really nice photorealistic finish that is in the RT bluegill color. And you can see it's got some rash. I've thrown it. I've caught some fish on a couple three-pounders. Um, and the th cool thing about this is that swim baits, nobody likes losing expensive lures. And these are swim baits, probably one of the most expensive categories. This lure, it's called like a heavy float, or I think it's heavy float, but it like floats like right under the surface. But as you can see, these little fins right here, those little fins, those are angled down, so kind of actually like a bill on a crankbait. And this can kind of swim, not serpentine like a multi joint, but kind of like a glide bait, but not as wide. So I like to kind of give it a slow swim and then speed it up, and it will turn off to the side. And this bait has just been a killer producer, and come on, it looks awesome too. So that is the Jackal Ganserel. Now, uh, these are my three glide baits. Uh, I'll start off with probably another one of my the best beginner baits in the market, and that is your classic River to Sea S Flavor 168. Not a big bait, but it sticks fish, and you can get some really good ones on this. I missed one this spring that was that could have been up to six and a half pounds. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that whole story about how I kind of knew the size of the fish, but yeah. But it's a killer bait. I've caught three pounder and a few other fish on it, and it's just awesome bait. Great starter bait. I, this is my first swim bait. It's actually in, inside. Maybe I'll show you that later. But um, actually, let me get that. All right. I've got some of the baits that are prepared for later. I'm gonna talk about some some of the more soft baits. But this is what I wanted to get. This is my original. This is my first ever swim bait. As you can see, yeah, it's not in great shape. I actually. This said I caught my first fish on. My dog's right there, so don't mind him. But this is actually what I caught my first swim bait fish on. SR 168 and Rainbow Trout. And I actually lost this. It was in the water for not quite a year, but almost a year. When my friend actually went to that pond, I lost it. And he got one of his lures stuck. He jumped in the water and found this. So that's a cool story. Got this. Not Obviously not going to throw it, but that's some emotional value, I guess you could say. But River Sea, SR 168. Great starter bait. And now the bigger brother of the 168, the S Flavor 200. S Flavor 200, it's just a bigger bait. I haven't, I haven't really thrown this a lot. I got it kind of recently with in a deal with the next bait on um, Swimming Underground. But got some upgraded owner Zowire ST40. I forgot what the hooks are, but one of the owner, you, you can find it on Tackleware or else in many places, upgraded. The joints are shaved down for a wider glide, but this is just 
both of these are glide baits. This one's better, like around shallower water, like it's a covered glide, so you can get in there cover and then give it start twitches. Or you can also work it more radically, like slide, 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 using quarter handle turns. On um, the S over 200, bigger bait, definitely more of an open water guide. guide. Probably throw this at some of my trout stocked lakes in the springtime, looking for that bigger bait. And now, what's mm, probably. I, it's probably my favorite bait right now. Um, but this is the. or tied for my favorite bait. We'll get to the, my, the other one in a minute. But this is. I've caught like five fish I think on this thing I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I got it really recently this came in the deal with the S Saber 200 which is stuck in the couch but this as many of you know this is the depths slide swimmer 175 slow sink the younger brother of the famous depths 250 which I definitely do want to pick up at some point once I start graduating into some bigger baits uh, but this bait it's when I first got, out of the, got it out of the package I hated it <laughs> Or at least I thought I did because I don't know what was wrong with it. I, there's, I think they were saying wrong with the joints, or maybe since it was in bubble wrap and shipping for like five days, uh, maybe it got like kind of worn out. But for the first 20 minutes, this thing barely swam and it kind of just rolled on its side. It went through the water. Um, but after that, this thing, I don't know what, I just had to break in, hit the water, and now this thing is the most fluid, most just perfect gliding glide bait I have seen in person it is you can give it a nice steady retrieve and it glides almost as wide as an SV200 and definitely wider than a 168 it has a nice wide glide you get some twitches and it, and it doesn't doesn't really roll or burn out at all my favorite retrieve is kind of like a you can just do like a slide 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 and it will just go slide 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 my favorite tree is a little bit more an erratic of course my dog is thinks it he has a little pool mini pool right here that he's wondering why there's no water in it but <laughs> my favorite tree is more erratic slide 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 and it kind of goes like boom 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 and it's just it's so fluid so smooth it never really burns out or rolls over just perfect tracks awesome caught a couple Nothing too giant. I caught one three pounder on it, and a, and a couple like smaller ones, and I lost one that made me cry. <laughs> no, uh, just kidding. But no, I did lose one that almost made me cry. It was probably uh, it was like a five or six pounder. I think pretty sure what I PB on this bait fishing in the rain a few days ago. That sucked, but this bait is a killer producer, and this thing's awesome. It's my the best glide bait I have seen in person, and it just. It produces. It gets the bites, and I'm very happy with my purchase. I did not pay retail for this because retail, hundred and ten dollars. It's a little steep. Going swim bait underground. Try to find. Sorry, the, of course the wind starts. Right, sorry, right when my video starts. But going swim bait underground. Try to find a deal on one of these. You'll be very happy with one. All right, next category. Moving into some weight baits. This is one of my first baits that I got, or not for bait, first baits that I picked up this year. It's not really a swim bait, though it is like considered in the swim bait world, and that is the Black Dog Baits Shell Cracker G2. To kill a little bait, kill a little bait. Um, some people call it as basically like keep it real fishing. He's another YouTuber. Uh, basically refers to it as a glorified square bill in some ways. But you, if you um, give it a slow retrieve, or if you just keep your rod up high, this thing just has a killer wake right on the surface. And you can go so slow with the bait, like my next bait, which, I mean, it's, it's just because this is a small bait, but you can go so, so, so slow with this. And it just still gets that perfect wake up on the surface. So it's a killer wake bait. It's a killer crank bait. You can just crank it down like a normal square bill. It has those joints to give it some uh, more freedom of movement square bill. And then you can also, like, bump it off cover like anything. That's what Black Dog Baits refers to it as. You can wake it, uh, crank it, or use it for cover, cover bumping. And it is just a killer bait, great bait to start out with. It's not that big, it's four inches long, or it's it's a it's a tall four inch. It's not like a little four inch kayak. It's definitely you're appealing to some bigger fish, but it's just a killer starter bait that they gain some confidence in and great bait. 
Now, this is probably, this is my, I mean, this is definitely my newest edition. I got this a few days ago. I have been waiting for these to come back in stock for a long time, and I am very, um, I did pay retail for this, but very happy with my purchase. The 9-inch MS Slammer. Now, this, as you can see, it's a wake bait. It is 9 inches. It is a big bait, but it's made out of wood, so it's, it's only 3 ounces. It's basically as much as my depths, which is... So I'm going to do a little size comparison. This thing is a lot bigger than that bait, and it weighs just a tad more. This is a 9-inch bait. It's a really big bait. I've only really... I, I, I've thrown it, like, seriously for, like, one... Or I, I, I haven't really committed myself for a long time. But I, so far, I got one fish on it. I did a couple laps around this one lake with it and got a nice 2-pounder on it. But I haven't committed a ton of time to it. But it is a killer bait, and the thing is I love about wake baits... I know this really kind of goes with a lot of baits, but especially big, big wake baits, you can catch such small fish on a giant bait like this. Like my friend has a has a nine inch slam or two. He was catching one pounders on this thing, and they were just crushing it. But this is a killer bait, as you can see. It's handcrafted, it's made out of wood. Mike Shaw's signature right there. This is that perch color here in the Northeast. Thought that would be the best option. I do want to pick up a trout color, but so far this bait has been killer. And I love it. I'm ex super excited to put in a lot, a lot of time with this and hopefully get some good fish. Uh, so, that's that's uh, the end of this box. Now we can move on to some of my uh, soft, uh, weedless, beast hook style baits. So, move this out. Alright, I'll use a uh, like, uh, little thing. So, first one. Not a huge bait. You saw me. This, you saw this in my unboxing. This is the 316 Rising Sun. If you know 316... They are a very exclusive um, handmade swimming company down in Texas. They also make soft baits. The really exclusive ones are their hard baits, which can go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But these soft baits, they're reasonably priced, and they catch a bunch of fish, and I really enjoy them. So I definitely do want to pick up some of the 6.75 uh, size in the Rising Sun, but right now I have the 5-inch. And things I was expecting these 5-inch to be... A much smaller bit. I wish I wish I brought it like a 4.8 Kytec, but I was expecting it to be more like that size. But no, this thing, it's not a huge bait at all. Um, but this thing, it's a very meaty profile, and even though it says five inch, it's actually more like five and a half inch. So this, and it runs on an eight-op beach hook. That is a big hook, and this bait, this bait has caught some fish. Uh, I got a few like two pounders on it, and I caught a four and a half on this bait, and it is it's it's beat up. It's got so a bunch of teeth marks on it, but I I feel like people wouldn't consider that as like, a serious swim bait. And the mag draft is not like a huge swim bait, but if you compare them, this five inch rising sun compared to the six inch mag draft, honestly, I, this thing I it's, it's, I think it's even closer. It's definitely bigger than just five inches. It's, I think it's, it's, these are hand pours, so I think it's a little bit, there's a little deviation, but, um, as you can see, that, it's very, it's a very thick bait, and, yeah, like a six inch mag draft, it looks like, it's, it looks like the same size, if not bigger than a six inch mag draft, but it is five inch bait, and it's a killer bait, and been enjoying throwing that around, I, I really was expecting them to be smaller, but these are actually decent sized baits, they're not huge, a 6.75 are definitely more of a swim bait, swim bait, they come in a pack of two. So I definitely want to pick up some of the bigger version too, but I know I talked about that for way too long, but the 316, 5-inch Rising Sun. Now, next up, Mag Draft. But this is the freestyle version of the Mag Draft. This is not like the normal one. Mega Bass makes the Mag Draft in a uh, version. Oops, they come like this, just like a plane like that, and then you rig them. Uh, I put them with an AWOP Beast Hook, and that fits Perfectly, this is in the white back shad color, more of a whitish purple color that be strokes. So now, I can have the awesome fish catching abilities of the mag draft now just in a um, in a weedless form. So I can bring us through cover and structure and fish it through grass and not worry about because the regular mag draft does not play well with um, thick structure because that thing that travel hook will get stuck in everything. Next up. Beast Coast Creep 65, six and a half inch swim bait. Uh, this is in the Ghost Pro Alewife color. Um, it does. I don't really. If it doesn't just mimic Alewives, it kind of looks like a. It's kind of a neutral color, like a darker green at the bottom. 
smoky green here, the little bit of green ladder line. Kind of looks like a baby bass. It's a nice broken up color. Uh, I actually do want to get one more pack of these in the perch color. The perch is probably my, my I don't have any, but I probably my favorite color of this. But this color is awesome. It's just an all around color. This is a great bait for not creep creeping on the bottom, but reeling it slower near the bottom. My friend caught a four pounder and like a three pounder on this. And that perch color, I definitely have to pick up some of those in this color. I haven't, I haven't got one on this yet. I, I really haven't thrown them a lot. Um, but it's definitely a nice bait, nice color. It kind of looks like a baby bass, just a nice neutral color. I feel like represents a wide variety of things. And now, next up, I haven't thrown this one that much easier, but I have some sick, the Kytex 6.8s in the ghost rainbow color. Now, that is definitely a bigger Kytec that runs on an ADOT beast hook, and I definitely want to throw this around and see if I can maybe get a fish on this, because I love Kytec so much, and I, I really, I've had these for a long, long time, like before I even got into swim bait, but now I'm definitely confident to go out there and see if I can get one on this. And now, probably the rarest bait that I have, um, for those of you who are into swim baits, you all know who this is. You all know what this is. This is the Working Class Zero Battle Shad 7.5. Made by Mike Gilbert of Working Class Zero. You can follow him on YouTube. Very well known. Uh, big bass fisherman out in California. And these are one of his very... These sell out in like two minutes. And these go for about... For a soft bait, they are very expensive. Going at uh, fi around $55 a piece. But the features that he has in this is really makes them... Um, just so much different and more special than all of the other soft swim baits in the market. First of all, starting off with the head, is that it has a head case harness right there. So uh, you don't use a screw lock on the regular beast hooks. Like if you have a Kytec and you just screw it in, they can get ripped out and the nose gets blown out and it's like uh, blah. Like that's why these are less expensive than the hard baits. They're just a lot less durable and they're not as hard to make. Because um, these will get blown out and get beat up easier. But the Battle Shad, the head case harness, you won't be getting any nose blowouts. It has a stealth mode hook slot. That is a 10 aught beast hook in there, and you can barely even see that hook. It's hidden up inside of the bait right there. As you can see, it goes right there. And it has the reason why you can get such good hookup without a big gap on the bottom, it has a air chamber. It's called the Chaos Air Chamber right there. So it squishes down, that big 10 aught beast hook comes out. I had a, a couple bites on this, like one three or four pounder, a couple other fish that kind of like, like kind of batted at the back and hit the back of it. I haven't been, I got, haven't got anything on this. I got one really, really nice bite that could have been anywhere from like four or five, maybe even like six pounds. Knife fish just came up, let it go and then hit it again. But it, my lion caught in some grass and so it, so when it started turning away to eat it more, it felt that resistance going off in a different direction and it just came out of its mouth and that net fish shot off. But this is a super killer bait. This is in the goblin color and I'm, it has an awesome action and definitely, definitely my favorite soft swim bait and looking forward to catching some on this this year. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Those are all the baits. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I will probably be doing some more submit videos when I start adding some more to the collection. I'll probably do like a follow up or some like uh, new bait video later on this year. I'm definitely, for right now, I'm going to start easing up because I'm spending a little bit too much money on some of these swim baits because um, they are, like I said, more expensive. But if you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on that little bell notification to get notified of all my latest videos, and we'll see you on the next episode.